In conjunction with Earth Day 2022, National Geographic has a brand new one hour special out on Disney Plus Hotstar. It's called Explorer, The Last Tapui, and it's about free climbing, about exploration into parts unknown, and about the discovery of new species. Now, we had a chance to speak to the incredible team behind this mission. Here now is my conversation with Alex Honnold, who you would know from the Oscar winning documentary Free Solo. Check it out. First ascents are basically modern exploration. When you're climbing a piece of rock that no human has ever touched, you literally step into the unknown. Before we get into the last Tapui, I'm curious, and forgive me if this is a stupid question, but uh, did your life change in any way after the whole free solo Oscar thing? Uh I mean, a little bit, but not that much, actually. And, and I suppose if you've seen The Last Tapui, then you know that I'm still basically spending my time on climbing expeditions, going exploring, climbing new routes. Um, so no, I mean, life is, is basically the same post free solo, though I'm married now and I just had a daughter. And so, uh, you know, like life is carrying on, but I'm still spending the, the, the majority of it climbing. Okay. Oh, well, that's good too, because I was assuming people just got on the phone and went, get me Alex Honnold. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me this. Um, the one thing I didn't quite grasp from The Last Tapui is just how much time had lapsed. Um, and, and I'm curious as to what it was like on the mountain and how long you guys actually spent up there before you got to the summit plateau. Yeah, so we spent something like 10 days hiking into the wall. And then right. we spent, um, I don't know, a week or more uh, working on the route and sort of getting to the summit. And then I think we only spent maybe a couple days camping on the ledge sort of near the top and then uh, exploring the top. And then it took us, I don't know, another week to hike back out, basically. So, I mean, the whole trip was a month long and, uh, and we spent, yeah, I mean, quite a bit of time trekking through the jungle. And what about... Um how you go about preparing for something like this and was it any different from your other climbs because and i don't mean to be dramatic but because no one's ever done this before it feels almost like an alien environment or am i wrong in thinking that no you're you're right that the environment was very alien i had never been to a jungle before it all felt very exciting for me in that way and, and so actually, I didn't really need to prepare for the expedition in terms of like training and climbing preparation, because the climbing was all relatively, you know, comfortable for me. But what the real challenge was the trek through the jungle, the, you know, the mud, the rain, the, the navigating in the jungle, the figuring out how to climb a new wall like that. So it wasn't something that I necessarily had to train for just because, you know, the, the climbing that I do day to day keeps me fit enough to do something like that. But the, the real challenge was the psychological side of it and the and just you know, handling the, the difficulties of, of the trek. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because it brings me to my next question, because I guess you can train every day and you can get into the best physical shape. But how do you actually train for the psychological stuff when you're faced with an outcropping like the one you did? Um, surely that can be quite demoralizing at times. No, that's a great question because you're totally right that anybody can train the physical side of it as much as they need to. But, but the real challenge is the psychological side. Like, how do you maintain good spirits as you walk through the mud for 10 days to get to the wall? You know, it's like, you know, those can be the, the real challenges. And I think that a lot of that comes from experience on on expeditions like this. And so uh, Mark Sinnott, who proposed this expedition, kind of put it together, the the climbing leader and uh, and Bruce Means. I mean, Bruce, the the ecologist, um, he's done you know, 33 expeditions to this area, to Tapuis. And so, you know, I mean, the two of them have so much experience with these places that they just know what it takes to to handle that kind of environment. And so I, I was kind of able to learn from them and, and just, uh, you know, em embrace their experience in the jungle. So uh, my last question, Alex, um, in a lot, on a lot of your climbs, it is, of course, a physical and psychological challenge for yourself. You're pushing yourself even further. But watching this, it felt like you had an even bigger responsibility because suddenly you're responsible for chronicling the biodiversity of this region, right? It's this unexplored space. Um, what was that like and how did that affect you? Yeah, it's interesting because because when you say it like that, it does sound like 
a lot more pressure, but I actually saw it as all sort of upside, all as like this incredible opportunity to do something useful because, you know, I've, I've gone on many different climbing expeditions all around the world, but I've never really been on one that felt so useful, where it's like we're helping somebody do something that's broadening human knowledge, that's contributing to our understanding of this region, that's, you know, potentially helping to see this region protected or conserved in some way. I mean, everything about it felt like there was, uh, you know, more opportunity like through the trip, like the, the more good things could happen as, as a result of our trip. And so I definitely saw it as, as, as all a good opportunity, but you're right. I mean, it could have been stressful if I thought about it that way. <laughs> Just probably the best approach to climbing and to life. But yes, um, Alex, it's been an absolute pleasure. I am such a big fan. You are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Only our feet have been here that I'm aware of. That was Alex Arnold. You can catch him on National Geographic's Explorer, The Last Tapui, when it premieres on Disney Plus Hotstar, Friday, April 22nd, Earth Day. Don't forget to check out our other interviews on YouTube. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. You know what to do.